In today's video, you get to see us explore Newfoundland for nine days. This is from July 1st to July 9th, 2023. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do like this channel, please like and subscribe. Welcome to the Trail Walker channel. This is uh, Todd. We're just beginning our nine day adventure over in Newfoundland. We're heading to the ferry now where we're going to meet, uh, I think it's about four or five other rigs. There's already two rigs over there, and uh, I'm actually not 100% sure if people are going on this adventure this time. But it starts uh, tonight at 11.45, and uh, we go until next Sunday, which would be July 9th. I hope you uh, enjoy the videos. We're going to try to post quite a few videos over the next few days, and uh, if you do like it, please hit the uh, subscribe button and the like button because it helps the channel quite a bit. Thank you. The boarding process to get on the ferry is pretty straightforward. Just follow the directions from the staff and you'll have no problems at all. We booked our tickets about six months in advance, so I do highly recommend if you are planning a trip that you, you book your tickets for the ferry well in time before you want to go, just to make sure that you actually have a spot to get on the ferry. You have to be there two hours before your booking or they will give your spot away. The ferry ride is about seven hours long. If you're going over in the nighttime, I do recommend having either a comfortable chair or a cabin and get some rest by the time you get there, and that way you can get on the road right away. When we arrived, it was a little bit foggy and rainy, but uh, as you'll see from the next videos, that cleared up pretty quick. After you arrive in Newfoundland, getting off the ferry is pretty straightforward. Again, just follow the directions of the staff. They were absolutely amazing. Directions were quite clear. Don't rush and just take your time and before you know it, you'll be in the beautiful town of Porta Bass. Driving through Porta Basque, it was pretty well just nothing but fog. But then we were greeted by these amazing mountains and we could see the fog just captured on the other side. It was absolutely beautiful. So we just arrived in the uh, beautiful little community of Codroy in Newfoundland. Uh, nice little spotter just really in the middle of nowhere. A lot of locals here, very friendly, waving to us as we're driving by. Gotta say, it's a very impressive trip so far. It's a lot of unexpected surprises. The mountains are amazing here. It, uh, it's just absolutely beautiful. One of the uh, local residents pointed us to a trail up the uh, side of the mountain to get a better view of Codroy and when we got to the top the uh, view was absolutely spectacular. After visiting Codroy we continued our journey to Stephenville. It's around two hours away. Stephenville was formerly known as the Cadian Village in the 1800s and from 1941 to 1966, it was the home of United States Air Force Base. You can actually see the history from the Air Force Base being located in Stephenville, since most of the streets are named after U.S. states. After doing some sightseeing around Stephenville and grabbing some local food, we decided to head up to our campsite just outside of Cornerbrook. We were all blown away with the, uh, the drive to Cornerbrook. The, the mountains on both sides were, were just absolutely amazing to see as you're driving into the community. The uh, video that I'm showing right now just doesn't even do it justice. It's just mind blowing with what you see. We 
finished our short visit uh, in Corner Brook, we decided to get to our campsite because it was getting late. And uh, anyway, we were driving through the woods in the back of Newfoundland. There were some cabins there that you were allowed to stay in uh, if you wanted to, but we decided to set up campsite along this beautiful river that uh, we found during our travel. There was just so much video that I took over the uh, the trip to Newfoundland that I decided to break the video up over uh, four or five videos just to make them uh, shorter. I'm hoping you're enjoying this video, and if you'd like to see more, please watch out for the next video to be released in a few days.